Uh, good evening. With apologies for the delayed start. This is the um, April 27 meeting of Cape Elizabeth Planning Board. <coughs> Excuse me. Before we get started, I want to welcome our new member, Jonathan Sarvak, to the board. Jonathan is a Cape native, practicing attorney in Portland, and we're happy to have him aboard. He replaces Liza Quinn, to whom we express our appreciation for her service on the board. Uh, moving on to the agenda, we'll be considering approval of the minutes of the March 23rd meeting, uh, consideration of a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a Winnick Woods Connector Trail Resource Protection Permit, uh, during which there will be an opportunity for public comment. It is a short agenda. After the meeting, after we adjourn, the Planning Board will be adjourning to a special workshop in the Jordan Conference Room, to which the public uh, is welcome. The uh, first item on the agenda are the minutes of the um, <coughs> excuse me, March 23rd meeting. Is there any uh, questions or comments on those minutes? I had one question. Uh, Hiromi, the one, two, third paragraph beginning the applicant is asking. Yeah. The second sentence began in conjunction with the fire chief. Two trees will be removed. I wasn't quite sure what you meant. Is it would after consultation with? I need to do that. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. no idea because I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's in consultation with the fire oh, chief. Okay, consultation. Consulta yeah. Okay, that was the word I thought was uh, made uh, sense. Okay. Uh, with cons conjunction mm -hmm. being changed to consultation, do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Make a motion that we put the minutes of the March 23rd, 2015 meeting as amended. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Victoria? Any discussion on the uh, seconded motion? All in favor? Opposed? The motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> the next uh, item of business is the Winnick Woods Connector Trail Resource Protection Permit. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, town of Cape Elizabeth, represented by the Conservation Commission, is requesting a resource protection permit to construct a boardwalk for over a casual use trail in Winnick Woods. Uh, this application will be reviewed for compliance with Section 1983 of the Resource Protection Regulations. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, the uh, town planner has asked that we. Uh, make the point that she also serves as staff to the Conservation Commission and has prepared the application. Uh, further, that the town engineer, Steve Harding, supervised the permit by rule application for this project submitted on behalf of the town to the Maine Department of Environmental Protection. Uh, we'll run this as follows. The planner will introduce the project in the context of the town regulations. Um, then we'll ask the applicant to uh, summarize the project. We will then consider the issue of completeness. If uh, we vote affirmatively on completeness, we will also this evening move on to consider the application on its merits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Maureen, could you summarize this? Sure. Thank you. And, I, and if anyone has any question in my dual role in this, I'm mm. happy to answer that. Um, Conservation Commission is trying to do this work in a very, very small budget. and so. <coughs> We're wearing multiple hats. Uh, but Winnick Woods is a 71-acre open space that's owned by the town. It has deed restrictions on it that preclude it from being developed. And it's located in the northwest part of town. Uh, the Town Conservation Commission several years ago prepared a master plan. And that master plan included a trail system. Uh, they did come to the planning board at that time to get a resource protection permit for approximately five uh, stream and wetland crossings for that existing for that proposed trail system. Uh, now that a, another trail has been created as part of the Eastman Meadows project, that is intersecting with the Winnick Woods uh, system, which was what the plan was all along. Um, but there is a section that is also wetland that is part of this trail connector. It's already being used by some people, and the commission has had a lot of concern that um, it's going to get degraded just by the foot traffic. So this area is in 
everything that could be considered a wetland. It's in an RP1, it's in an RP1 buffer, and it's in an RP2. So, and we know that because when the master plan was done several years ago, a Woodlot Alternatives was hired to do a professional wetland mapping. So we feel fairly comfortable about the wetland boundaries that you've been presented with. And trails and boardwalks are considered a permitted use in all of those wetland zones as long as a permit is obtained from the planning board and the board has to find that the standards of a resource protection permit have been met before you grant the permit. Like any questions from Maureen? Uh, I think I determined myself, but if anybody disagrees, that her prior involvement is not a disqualifying uh, aspect. Um, the gentleman from the Conservation Commission, if you'll give us your name and uh, present your project. Yes, my name is Jim Tassie. I live at 30 Cliff Avenue in Cape Elizabeth. I'm a member of the Conservation Commission. Um, and Maureen gave us a pretty good summary of what's going on here. Um, if you consult the display behind you, the area in question is right here. And what this does is um, it creates a trail and boardwalk that would connect an existing loop that comes like this and another loop that's in this area. And what's happening right now is that people are currently, um, due to the proximity of those two trails, walking across that. Historically, um, you know, this has been identified as an area <clears throat> where the uh, town wanted to put a trail. Now with the creation of the trail at Eastman Meadows, we're seeing quite a lot of use and uh, it's, it's actually having an adverse impact on the wetland. And so we recommend and have applied for um, the uh, authorization to build a trail and boardwalk to minimize the uh, damage to the wetland. Do you have any additional questions? I mean, it's the description of the boardwalk. It's, uh, we're talking about a, a grand total of 80 to 100 feet of boardwalk that will be no more than five feet in width. Um, it will be built with uh, pressure treated wood that is uh, the environmental type that is of low impact uh, and low leachate. Um, it will be designed according to uh, Forest Service and or IMBA uh, design standards, which are fairly codified. And um, it will essentially be, you know, two runners with uh, uh, decked planking. Any board members have uh, questions for the applicants? I should add, this has been uh, reviewed quite carefully at a workshop. Uh, and the. Uh, the applicant has, has provided a lot of information to the board um, already, but uh, any questions on either side? I just want to make one more point that uh, this project did trigger permit by rule requirements with the DEP, and the town council authorizes submission of that application, and that permit by rule has been granted. I should also point out they are uh, asking for a waiver of the uh, one-foot contour requirement. They have provided us with two-foot contours. On the issue of completeness, if there are... Oh, Jonathan? I actually do have just a quick question. This might have been taken care of in the workshop, and I apologize because I was not part of the board at that time. Um, but every, how, is the, how, is the, uh, how are the materials getting brought in? Is someone going to have to lug them in? Or? Yep, yep. Well, what we'll probably be relying on will be the local uh, mountain bike posse to uh, shoulder some material in there. The, the area is easily accessible from the, uh, the uh, Sawyer parking lot to, um, where you know, the Winnix main trailhead is. It's less than a quarter mile from that point to the, uh, to the area where the bridge will be constructed, so it's, uh, it's an easy lug in. And how much time is it going to take to build? We expect it'll, it could be built in a day. All right. And so I, I take it that nobody's not going to be able to use the paths on that day? Is there still going to be open to the public? Absolutely. It'll have no impact at all on other trails um, within the network. Great. Thanks. <coughs> Great. At this point, uh, on the issue of completeness, uh, we'll open the meeting for comments by the public. Are there any? Members of the public who would like to speak on the issue of completeness? There being none, we'll close the public uh, part of the hearing. And uh, 
If there are no further questions, we'll entertain a motion on the issue of completeness. Would somebody like to make that motion? Elaine? Motion for completeness be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of the town of Cape Elizabeth for a resource protection permit to alter up to 2,700 square feet of RP1, RP1 buffer, and RP2 wetland to construct a boardwalk over a casual use trail located in Winnick Woods on Sawyer Road be deemed complete. Second. <coughs> we have a motion and a second. Uh, is there any discussion on the seconded motion? Uh, there being none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Opposed? The uh, motion passes unanimously. We will proceed next to the motion for approval on the merits. Uh, if you could just hang on half a second in case there are... Hmm? Yeah. Uh, do any board members have any uh, questions on the um, motion for approval itself? It's not required if... Uh, you, you have the opportunity yeah. if you're not required. If you want. I don't feel the need for a sidewalk, but I just want to bring it up. So we'll That's a good point. Do any members feel inclined to have one? Uh, I'm seeing no interest in that. Um, once again, the public will have a chance to speak uh, on the issue of the application on its merits. Are there any members of the public who would like to be heard? <clears throat> there being none, we'll close the public part of uh, the proceeding on the uh, motion for approval. And we'll entertain a motion for approval. Would somebody like to make it? Okay. Motion for approval. Finding of facts. Number one, the town of Cape Elizabeth, represented by the Conservation Commission, is requesting a resource protection permit to alter up to 2,700 square feet of RP1, RP1 buffer, and RP2 wetland to construct a boardwalk over a casual use trail located in Winnick Woods on Sawyer Road. The application will be reviewed for compliance with Section 19-8-3 Resource Protection Regulations. Number two, the Planning Board is aware that municipal staff have prepared application materials and also provided advice to the Planning Board as part of the permit review. The Planning Board is satisfied that a third-party review is not needed due to the limited scope of the project and the purpose of the project to provide a public benefit. Number three, the application substantially complies with section 19-8-3 resource protection regulations. Therefore, be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of the town of Cape Elizabeth for a resource protection permit to alter up to 2,700 square feet of RP1, RP1 buffer, and RP2 wetland to construct a boardwalk over a casual use trail located in Winnick Woods on Sawyer Road be approved. Second. We have a second in motion. Is there any discussion on the second in motion? I uh, will now call for a vote. All in favor? Opposed? Uh, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Thank you. And that concludes the agenda uh, of the meeting. Does the board have anything else they would like to raise at this, here, at, at this meeting? Okay, we will uh, take a couple of minutes after we adjourn to move over to the Jordan. Is that, it's available? Okay. Great, uh, the meeting's adjourned. Thank you for coming. <laughs>